Good morning. Today is Monday, the 27th day of Teves. And today we're learning chapter 17. We start this chapter 17 in Tanya. And this, in a way, is a interim summary what we learned from the beginning of Tanya until today. And that is, <clears throat> the Alter Rebbe gave us the, the picture, the entire picture, and he brought out, in general, we can summarize it in four points. Number one is what we possess, that each, each and every one possesses the, the godly soul, which is a part of Hashem himself in us, and there is an animal soul. <clears throat> Number two, what are the faculties of each soul? There is the 10 faculties. There is the three intellectual and seven emotional faculties. Point number three was that the purpose, the ultimate goal is to control the speech, thought, the thought, speech, and action. Those are the garments of the soul. And this is the goal is to be in full control of this, not to think the right thing, to speak the right thing, and to do the right thing. And point number four was that it's not enough that we do the mitzvahs dry just with action, but it's important also to have the feelings, the love. The love to Hashem. And he explained in the last chapter that there is the love that comes that is felt in the heart. And there is the love that it call it, we call it intellectual love. That means it's not really something you, your heart start, starts beating stronger when you feel it, it's like in your heart, but it's something that you understand that this is the right thing. And you have the conviction that this is the right thing. And he, he concluded that really not everybody is in the level to reach the love that you can feel the love to Hashem. But it's also, some people can also only do it through the understanding and doing based on what they understand. And they, he calls it the love in the mind, intellectual love. Uh, or action in the heart. And, and this is what he's going to explain now, that not everybody can reach the love of Hashem and to feel it in the heart. But even if you don't, if you have only a love, a kind of love, a kind of conviction, an understanding, a deep understanding that leads you to do that is considered also a perfect thing. And based on this, he's going to explain the verse that he based the whole book of the Tanya on this verse. The verse that says in the Torah, in the Parshas Nitzavim, it says, Ki karev eilecha adava me'oid beficha ubevavcha la'asaysi. That this thing, to be close to Hashem, to do the right thing, is very near, is very close to every Jew. Every Jew can get this, can get to this point. Everyone can get it. in your mouth, in your heart, and to do it. So he's going to ask some questions on this verse and based on what we just explained about the different types of love, he will explain how really it is something that is near, that people can do it. So let's look inside. Says the Rebbe, Yuvan, and based with this explanation that we said before, that the fear and love of God, which remains concealed in one's mind and heart, is enough to infuse one's fulfillment of the commandment with vitality, then we'll understand 
the verse that says, Ki koroiv eilecho hadovo me'oid, where this thing is very near to you, beficho in your mouth, or bilvavcho, and in your heart, la soy soy, that you may do it. And the question is, the Alter Rebbe is asking right away, This, at first glance, the statement that says this, that this is very near to you in your heart, it seems contrary to our experience. It is really something that you feel close, you can really love, you have love of Hashem in your heart. I mean, it says in, in, in the... In the Chayva Salavavas, the book of the Musar, it says that one cannot, just like fire and water, cannot be simultaneously. The same thing, one cannot have love to Hashem and love to material things at the same time. You can't. If your heart is drawn to some materialistic thing, it will not have room to godly thing. So how could you say, how could the Torah tell us that it's very close, very near to us to have to feel the love of Hashem? And yet the Torah is eternal. In other words, if you're going to say that, yes, this, the Torah was written 3,000 years ago, for those people, maybe this was true. Maybe those people were in a very high level that they can feel that feeling. Says the Alter Rebbe, no, the Torah is Nitzchis. The Torah is eternal. That means that this is something that applies to us today. In the year 2020, 2021. And we know that if in our experience that it's not easy. It's not near at all. To change one's heart, to change it from the worldly desires to a sincere love of Hashem. It's, it's just not happening. So that is in our experience. In addition, says the Dal Rebbe, that even in the Gemara, the Gemara also asked that same question. As the Talmud says, Is fear of heaven a small matter? This is uh, the, the Talmud is talking about, it says in the Torah, it says, Ve'ata Yisrael, Mo Hashem Moshe is saying to the Jewish people, What does God demand from you? All he wants, ki'im le'irat Hashem, all he wants is that you should fear God. And the Talmud asks the question there, what, what kind of statement is this? <laughs> all he wants is to fear God. To fear God is a small thing. It's not easy. It's not easy for a person to get to the point to fear Hashem. Says the Alter Rebbe here, if to fear Hashem is not easy, to love Hashem is even harder. Why? Because to fear Hashem, you can fear something that even you're not connected with, something which is far from you, can, you can also fear. Something that you're not connected, but you know it's, it's, it's something big, something uh, awesome, something which is, it, it does not require to, be, to feel a closeness in order to fear. But in order to love something or someone, you need to feel a closeness. So to love Hashem, you, you're going to need to feel something of godliness in your heart. And here, even to fear, says the Talmud, that it's not easy. And we're talking back then in the time of the Talmud. So much more so today. So even to fear Hashem is not easy. Then how could we say that it is very close to you today to love Hashem? And here the Alter Rebbe is going to explain this. It says the Alter Rebbe, the Kol Shekenav, and this is true, if this is true of fear, how much more so to love Hashem. Another thing says the Alter Rebbe, 
before we answer. וגם, אומרו רבי סיינו זכרוינם לברוכו, our sages of blessed memory have said, דצדיקים דווקא ליבם ברשוסם. That only tzaddikim, the righteous people, they control, they have control over their hearts. So the tzaddikim are able to arouse a love and fear to Hashem whenever they want. But, but anyone who is not a tzaddik does not have such control over one's heart. Hello, so the Alter Rebbe goes to explain here and in order to explain, we have to look back into the verse. So let's go back to the verse. It says like this. The verse says, The thing is very close to you, in your mouth, in your heart, to do it. If... And there, if if this is talking about three things, befiha speech, milvavcha is feelings, la is action, so you should say befiha your mouth, bilvavcha, and your heart, and baasoischa, and in your deeds. It says la in your heart to do it. Comes the Alter Rebbe and is going to explain now that the la soy soy, when we're saying to do it, this comes to explain what it means, bilvavcha. La soy soy is connected with the word bilvavcha in your heart. He's saying, what kind of feelings does the Torah say that is near to you? The type of feeling that leads you to do. Meaning, what we explained yesterday, the intellectual love, the love that has you thinking in the greatness of Hashem and you, you have a conviction in your heart that this is the right thing, even though you may have in the same time desires to do other things. You may have a desire to a nice piece of steak or other material things, but in your mind, you're meditating and you're thinking and you're understanding that this is the right thing and you get such, of a, such a, a feeling to it. Not that your heart is full of love now to Hashem and that you don't see any other worldly temptations. No, he's talking in your heart to do it. Meaning that the feeling that leads you to do the right thing. This is what he's saying. So let's go back. That's what Alter Rebbe says, Elo. But the la soy soy, the word that you may do it, it means to say, it is merely that a love that which merely leads to fulfillment of the commandments. It's not a real love, but it's a love that is that. A conviction that, that that this is the right thing to do. Shehi reusa deliba shebetalume slave. This means that the hidden desire of the heart, even if it does not burn openly like a flame fire, gam ki eino beis galos liba kerish veish. It is hidden in the heart, but you have the conviction. And this, says the Alter Rebbe, is very close. This is something that anybody that has a brain, that has the ability to think, is able to do it. And this, thing, this matter is very near, very easy. Every man, everyone who has a brain in his head is able to do it. Why? Because his mind is under his control. You can think whatever you want. Any moment, if you think about something, you have the ability to shift and to think something else. You can, you can control your, mind, your, your thoughts. You cannot control, you cannot stop thinking. The brain constantly thinks, but you can control what you want to think. 
ויכול לזבוינן בוי ככל השייך פויקס. And this, it is up to you, you can meditate at anything that, that you please, that it pleases. Therefore, if he will contemplate what is in the greatness in, of, of Hashem, of the Almighty, inevitably, it will generate at least in your mind, in your brain, the love to Hashem. The love to Hashem. And you will have the love to Hashem in your mind, not yet in your heart, but in your mind. You will have this love to Hashem in your mind to cleave to Hashem and doing all of the mitzvahs and the Torah. And this, <clears throat> the Torah study and the doing the mitzvahs, this is the whole purpose of man. Key, because it says, it is written, Ayoyim la soisom. It is written that today, meaning in this world, all that is necessary is la soisom to do the mitzvahs. That today, it refers to today, the world of physical action. In this day, in this world, and tomorrow in the afterlife, then is the time for a word. Commission is buyer. The Mokemacher is explained elsewhere. And the mind, <coughs> by virtue of it, in, by nature, is, has control over the left side of the heart. Shalit betiva v'toladetoy al chol alav asmolo shebalei. Ve'al piv. And your mind has control over your mouth. I know some people, we don't see it. <laughs> they talk without control, without thinking. But if you think, you have the control. You can control. Ve'al kol oivorim shem kliya masa. And all the limbs, <clears throat> all of the organs, which are the instruments of action, the mind has control over them. Therefore, this is this is Dalta Rebbe, and this basically comes to the summary of the entire everything what he said until now from the beginning of the Tanya. How it is korayv me'oid, how it is so easy if a person puts his mind and heart to it. And but as we said in the beginning of the Tanya, it is a derech aruka uktzor. It's not a short way. It is a long but short way. It is a long way. Why? Because this is a way of step by step of thinking and meditating and understanding every, every that is uh, something that leads you ultimately when you study it. You study the greatness of Hashem and you study the Torah and you study the mitzvahs and you're doing those things. Ultimately, it leads you that it's easy for a person to get to this point and doing what Hashem wants. So this is the end of today's share. We'll continue tomorrow, Bezrat Hashem. Thank you for joining. Make sure to spread the words of Hashem. As the Baal Shem Tov says, that this is what brings Mashiach. Spreading these words of Hasidus is something that prepares the world to be, to be a better world in every aspect. Any questions?